One Oklahoma woman is turning her passion into reality. She has a goal to train rescue dogs to become therapy or service dogs for domestic violence victims. And she has some big dreams for the future of her organization. Oh, yes, yeah, she does. I love this. News Force Hunter Elise spoke with her about where her passion stems from and how she wants to help domestic violence victims. The world becomes less scary when they have a dog to share that experience with. Kennedy Rinderer has been a professional dog trainer for nine years, working with domestic violence victims and their dogs. But after researching what's next, ideas started flowing. Like, why not do it at all and just start my own thing and do everything I can to not only help all of our dogs that are getting euthanized daily, but also to help victims. Kennedy has a special passion for domestic violence victims and therapy dogs. I came from a bad background, so growing up in that and seeing the impact, my safety was always dogs. Which is why she started the Canine Impact Foundation, a nonprofit she hopes will help other victims thrive. She works with different rescues to find dogs that could be trained to be a therapy or service dog. Sit. Yes. We evaluate temperament, so when I go and meet a dog, I touch on their ears, pull on their face, pull on their tail, make sure that the dog is not willing to bite. From there, she works with local dog trainers to help pair the dog with a victim. And we assess it for a therapy dog role to maybe go to domestic violence victim shelters and participate in group therapy. Um, if they're a good candidate for service work. Yes, good girl. But her dream doesn't end there. Kennedy says she would love to eventually have a training facility with a shelter for survivors of abuse. Not only do survivors of abuse have a place to go with their pets, you know, we want to make it pet friendly, but also they can get active in the training of these dogs and help other victims. Oh, yes, ma'am. Good girl. In Oklahoma City, Hunter Elise, Oklahoma's News 4. Oh, what a great organization. Kennedy says she hopes her training will also help dogs get adopted if they end up not moving into that therapy dog role after all. Yeah, combine them both. The K9 Impact Foundation works solely on donations, so if you want to learn about it more, go to k4.com.